My name is Dr Owen Thomas. I'm a GP principal in the community. I also work in the prison as a, a clinical lead. I am a medic. I'm a counsellor. I am a lecturer, an educator. I'm a team member and policy maker. I work inside the prison and I also work outside the prison. Although I'm a, a GP principal in the traditional sense, I've got a bit of a portfolio career as well. So my typical day varies very much. I do a lot in a given week and no, no two days is the same and I don't think I'm alone in that in general practice. I think that's one of the unique things about this career. The skills that I call upon when I work in the insecure environment are the same skills that every GP trains to do. I think what the prison has given me is a set of expertise maybe that has allowed me to grow a little bit as a physician. So there's some a and &E. I have to do suturing, I have to do you know, minor surgery, I have to do joint injections and things like that. As a general practitioner though, rather than in A&E, patching them up, sending them back out, say, oh, you're going to see a general practitioner, I can start looking at that patient once I've stitched them up. And while I'm stitching them up, from a general practice point of view, from a primary care point of view, why, why did you do this? Where, where are we going with this? You know, have you got, have you harmed before? Are, are you using drugs? And that, that's the role of the general practitioner. And taking that, getting that patient on site, that's what we do. And actually, that's what's needed in the prison. I went through my medical training and GP training enjoying everything. And I think that what I initially thought of as being a weakness, not knowing what I wanted to do, allowed me to assimilate a range of, of skills that without knowing enabled me to adapt to environments. And what I've found is that at each stage in the journey, I've accomplished something which may be small, or it may have felt like a huge thing, but I've sat down and gone, do you know what, I really feel like I've achieved something there. <laughs> and that sense of achievement and understanding of the process from the ground up, I couldn't have learned that in the community because I've come in into a working machine. Changing the cogs around in a working machine is very, very difficult, but in, in the prison it's so raw, it's still a bit like the wild the Wild West and I think I think it just excites me. I think that's why I've stayed. <laughs>